presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hey, Robert, how you doing, man? Yes, good, and thank you for taking my call. I wanted to let you know that I've been a subscriber for a couple of years, just different members of your team, and I really enjoy it. But really the reason I'm calling is to express my sincerest gratitude for you providing that information information yesterday on the small business grant. I'm a small business owner and primary breadwinner for my family. And if I can get that money, it's going to really mean a lot to my family. So that's awesome. thank you for uh, taking the time to do that. No, well, well, listen, man, we appreciate you growling a problem with us. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, and I'm sure that a lot of people are going to need this weekend for sure. Love coming out of you makes you happy. The whole world can love you, but that's not the love that'll make you happy. What will make you happy is to share all the love that you have inside of you. That is the love that will make the difference. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 381, NASDAQ off 254, S&P's down 57, gold contract up $7.40, traded at 1883 an ounce. You got silver flat, $22.35 an ounce, light sweet crude up two bucks. $110.44 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note up nine ticks, trading at 117.25. The 30-year up a full point at 136.09. And King Dollar. King Dollar trading at a price point of 103.680. It got to a new high today. It's laying right at these highs, folks. That's the bottom line. We'll see whether it can uh, basically make the break topside. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? And the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, folks, okay, is that uh, we have a rough market, man. And, uh, you know, I've said plenty of times, you got to reset in price. You're down 580. You're 407. And if I put this on the weekly, what you're going to see here now, it's, it's going to get much clearer. The problem is, as it gets much clearer, you're going a lot lower. And you can see, like, okay, so I have this on a weekly now. If you're watching Tiger TV, just check it out, man. I mean, your last swing point here was a low of $410.64. We had volume of $593 million. Well, guess what? We have volume of $683 million. Bottom line, you get the ABC structure down. 394 is the number. And we take a look at this, what you're going to see. It really lines up well. You have a volume bar at 390. So my take is that we're going to get the ABC structure going. The problem is, is that there's not a lot of support there. So we'll see how that uh, that uh, handles that level. But that's my that's the next leg down. We take a look at the NDX 100. You're going to see the same setup inside the NDX 100. That's an ABC structure down to uh, 281. We're at 307. We put this uh, right now. That's trading at uh, yeah 307. We put this on a weekly, you're going to see the same type of glaring, you know, it's glaring, man. Let me tell you, if you don't, yeah, it's glaring. Um, and you can see the, so the swing point on the Qs was four, uh, volume-wise, was 414 million. Well, guess what? We did 580. Last week, we did 510. And you remember many times I've explained that when you're coming into a swing point, whether it's a lower swing point or a higher swing point, and you're coming in with volume, your probability goes much higher that, you know, you're going to break it. So let's go take a look at 281. And you get two. See, this looks to me. It, it, uh, we should uh, look at this, man. This is interesting. You know, so what you have in the NDX is this. You get... 297 to approximately 324 that had some volume. But guess what? The 
amount of energy on the way down on this one right here um, is basically blowing that away. So this is saying that, guess what? You know, we're going to be pulling back somewhere into the uh, August of 2020 area. It's, it's a big number, man. It's, it's, a, yeah, it's a big number. Gold. Gold contract here. Um, caught a bid yesterday. Uh, now let's let's take a look at this because this is what this is where you do have an ABC structure down. Was was you know uh, bottom line is that the one of the targets are asking you know do you have an ABC structure down because the original ABC structure down was seventeen eighty eight. Okay, that's my number anyway. That being said, what you have now is that you, it's negated, and the reason it's negated is this. See, okay, so you, you cross the B point on for on Monday. You did it with volume. You had volume of uh, 194,000 contracts versus 171. So that's an ABC structure down. Now, as it come back up on Wednesday, you had 161,000 contracts. So if you have the out of time in the trade, you know what ends up happening with a complex one. That still could have been a complex ABC structure at that particular point. Because what happens is if we broke the B point, we broke it with volume, you come back on the other side of the B point, and you come back with light volume. That being said, look what happened yesterday. Yesterday negated it. The reason being, you had the jump in volume. We, we went from 161 up to 218,000 contracts. You got higher. That negates it. You got over the B point. Then, and this is what basically validates it, then you pull back today and you get to 1865 and rejected lower price and you have lighter volume. That says to me that we're building cars right here to basically get inside the higher range. The higher range is approximately, you know, 1913. There's a couple spikes there that are, you know, 1893, but it has to get a little bit higher than that. My take is 1918 in order to basically make that run. We get over and look at the dollar. It, it, listen, and it's amazing, folks, that gold is this high with the dollar, it, uh, not all time highs, but it's a big number. There's no doubt about it. You get 103.656 103, right now. 104.61 is the number. If we take a look at this on a monthly basis, in fact, that, this is pretty funny. Look at that. I just brought it back 15 years. I got to go back further. Here we go. Okay. So I just brought it back 25 years. And you can see the number that we're looking at you know, basically 103, 800, somewhere around there. Now, it hasn't been able to make it. What is unusual is this, which I said last week. Normally, or last month, well, it was last week, too, because it began, is that when you have a bar like this, folks, that that's that large, normally they don't come one at a time, you know? And if we break this with conviction, guess what? 121's on the table. Now, you don't break it, you know, or you get some follow through on the downside, which we have not got yet, okay? The one day that we got that this week, this thing came roaring back in about, you know, well, in 24 hours, it came roaring back. You can see what, uh, there it is over right there. With, we had, it was on Wednesday. You know, Wednesday, you know, at the beginning of Thursday, it got down to uh, 102, 352. And it said, see ya, don't want to be here. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow Industrial's off 372. NASDAQ off 250. S&P's off 55. We'll come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. 
A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading down 374. Nasdaq's off 262. S&P's are off 58. Uh, we had uh, Shopify. Shopify uh, came out with uh, numbers. Uh, you know, this is, uh, man, some of these stocks. Yeah, what, what you get, you know, the indices, folks, are down. But when you look at individual stocks, some of these, they are like, I mean, smoke down, okay? And look, just take Shopify, right? Shopify is back where it was trading in, nine, in August of 2019. It is uh, May of 2022, right? And you can see out here, it's a big problem because what you have here is like a, yeah, this thing's going a lot lower. You know, you get, you get monster volume out here. It's surprising it's only down 34 dollars here well it's like nine percent but even it's actually surprising because the amount of volume that's down here so the next stop for shopify is somewhere about down to 335. uh restoration hardware restoration hardware bottom line this is going south um you're 293 down 15 and a half dollars this is a yearly low lows 286 the high 744 and we bring this back Put this on a weekly. And this, it's not going to be an ABC down, but bottom line, you're, you're off highs of 744. Um, there's, there's not a lot of support at this uh, three, well, the already, already blew by 310. Blows by 310, bottom line, you're at 265. So that is pretty intense as it is. Um, the gives backs, man, uh, just incredible. And then, of course, if you're working out and you go into Under Armour, this is like a disaster. Uh, Under Armour right now, down $3.49. The low, it has to be a low for the year. Yeah, $9.66 is the low, uh, $22.99 is the high. That's for this year. When you take a look at this equity, this is like... So let's bring this up. Okay, so we were down. Well, it's going to go to, yeah. Is that 2020? Yeah. This whole, this, this is game, this equity right here. This is game right down to the pandemic lows. The, this has a high volume low of $6.91. And then, yeah. Yeah. So let me just see what they did, how much they took in, because they come out with numbers this morning. These, these hits are like incredible, actually. 
Ratios, no, I want ratios, I want revenue. Okay, so revenue-wise, come on, fill in. Oh, you know what's happening right now? Oh, this is going to be dangerous for the market, I think. One second. What happens here, folks, is that, and now folks that have been listening to me for a while, when these Bloombergs, when they, when they slow up, what happens is that it's, you have all these funds loading up. That's what ends up happening. Yep, sure enough, man. So listen to this, folks. This is crazy, man. The, <laughs> I caught in onto this at the 2000, it might have been even the 1999 deal, because I've had a Bloomberg since 1994. Um, and what happens is this, and on downdrafts, right, what, what will end up happening is that I can have the Bloomberg on one, I get the, my TD Ameritrade on another. And if on downdrafts in particular, what happens is that if the Bloomberg starts slowing up big time, what it is is that those funds are loading in. And Bloomberg's fast, but guess what? They can't handle it. So it's like, this is going to be a dangerous close, man. That's the bottom line. Um, yes, uh, thank you, uh, uh, one of the Tigers out here, for talking about Wayfair. I mean, Wayfair also come out with numbers. Wayfair is down to $1.78. Low for the year is 56 The high is 339 we pull this in. Oh, my God. Look at this thing. Wow. And wait for it's an ABC down. Look at this, man. Okay, one second. Is this an ABC? No, it won't be out of business. Let's see how this would work. That would be, oh my God, 250. That's 150. That's an out of business deal. I suspect Wayfair is going to go back to 26 bucks, and right now it's 65, 78. Um, now, one of the things in Wayfair, right? You know, I've, I've talked about Wayfair a lot because I, I go over there and, and, and look at it, and my take is that it's very expensive. Okay. That being said, this week they had a sale that was pretty incredible. Um, and when I was looking at it, I says, you know what, man? They got to get some cash in here because some of the things that I had been looking at, meaning uh, this was outdoor furniture, and the outdoor furniture happened to be, uh, the sets were about 18, 1900. They claimed they were 3,900, okay? But the bottom line is that well, if you price them out, they're about 18, 1900. Well, the bottom line is that they brought, they brought it down to a thousand dollars. It's like, okay, they need cash flow. Um, <laughs> and so, you know, that says quite a bit, meaning, um, as you need cash flow, what do they do? They bottom line, they'll sell at a discount. And um, the more that you see that, the more that uh, they are going to be in trouble. If we take a look at uh, what their numbers were out here, let's take a look at it. Uh, Three billion. Yeah, I can see the contraction. Look at this contraction. Last quarter, 3.3 .3 billion. Imagine, imagine that you have a company and you do 300 million less in 90 days. That's what they did. That's unbelievable, man. And guess what? They lost money. They lost it. If, if, this, is, this has always blown my mind about how public companies can actually lose money. And um, bottom line, people keep giving them money. You know, one of the top line stories out here, listen to this, folks. This is sad. So one of the top line stories this week on the Bloomberg was that on Wednesday, there was more money put in the marketplace on a long positions on Wednesday than for years. You know, folks thought that, okay, that's it. We're going up, we're going up in spades. And then guess what, folks? What happens? It goes to basically trade as heaven. Just like that, poof, poof, see you later. Um, so pretty intense, man. Um, you know, and then what you, when you look at Kathy Wood's deal, listen to this. This, this, is, this is amazing as to the aspect of how, and I would say this is not just retail traders also. I'm saying because what, it, what has happened here is this, is that there's plenty of traders. So picture, picture if you were 30 years old, uh, in 2006. Well, guess what? You're, what? you're 46 now, right? So from 30 to 46, man, you've been going up. I mean, that's, that's, I mean, 
I haven't seen that in my lifetime. So I can imagine why, this, I'm gonna tell you the story right now, I can tell you why that this is happening, meaning on Kathy Wood. So picture this, every single stock that Kathy Wood has is lower for the year. She's down 50%. And I'm not picking on her, believe me. I feel sorry for anyone that's losing money. I can't stand it. But this is crazy, listen to this. Except cash. Everyone keeps throwing cash in there, man. All week long, they've been throwing cash in here. So it's pretty intense, man. So my take on that when I see that, we're not even close to capitulation. She took in more money than she ever took in Wednesday. And the only position that she has that is in great position is cash because everyone keeps pushing it in. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, the Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, trading down 322. You get the NASDAQ off 248. S&Ps are off uh, 52. Now, if we stay with ARC for a second, you get an ABC structure down, folks. And this is going to be pretty intense because this ABC structure down is about a 25.8 A to B. Um, so I suspect this is, uh, what, it makes sense anyway. Because when you look at some of the stocks in there, they're like disasters. Um, Where's twenty five dollars? Twenty five or thirty dollars? Yeah, if it ever does that, man, it means it's gonna break all time lows, man. That's thirty two dollars. So that is one problem in a, in a huge way. And you know what, what does happen, and, and what hasn't happened to her, uh, is this: is that because there's so many folks that still, you know, want to invest in the CTF. They keep putting money in, so she has not been had to sell. What she has done is that she has to put the money to work, you know, that's, I don't know how much of it, the perspective is that she has to do that in the inside, 
um, but she has to put the money to work. And, um, you know, so she'd been, she hasn't been a seller. She's been a buyer, uh, except for Twitter. TWTI, she sold her whole position of Twitter yesterday. Um, you know, so, and I don't blame her because what, what's going on, this is what's really going on too. Musk is so overpaying for Twitter, it's unbelievable, folks. Because picture this, you're in a downtrend, right? All he had to do is wait another couple months, man. Another couple months, Twitter would, would have been down breaking these lows also. And then he would have probably got Twitter for 25 bucks, man. Pretty crazy. Let's go to uh, Gary in uh, New Buffalo, uh, Michigan. Hey, Gary, what's going on, man? Hey, Tom, how you been? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Oh, great. I've been, uh, I had to step back from uh, being involved on a daily basis, and I miss you guys. Um, but I um, I got a, a startup that's going to be about two years in the making that I've been involved in. It's an online gaming platform uh, with uh, social games of skill. So uh, we're going to go live here in another week. So it's been pretty active. So, But I my heart's still with TFNN. I'm still, pr I, I just actually recommended you guys to a young um, um, guy who's, uh, in business, but he's also looking to do some day trading. I said, we got to go to TFNN and check everybody out. So. Hey, let me ask you <laughs> something. When you say an online gaming, uh, are you talking about gambling? No, it's actually, what it, what it is technically, it's legal games of skill, right. legal in 45 states, um, and it's a um, it's not an MLM, it's a, it's a basically just a referral program um, that was interesting in itself. Well, um, you know why I'm asking? But, um, uh, the way I'm asking, what, what happens, folks, is that in Gary State, there's a tiger that I know that just sold the company for millions. And the tiger is the one that owned it. That and all these 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 bar rooms and all this stuff because it's legal. Uh, so it's really intriguing what you're saying. And I, I so I don't know the business in general, but I know how these things work. So pretty cool. OK. Yeah, I'll send, I'll send you an email on it. Uh, you know, I'd love to chat. Um, it's um, um, it's pretty interesting. It's fascinating what's going to happen. It's uh, hopefully work for people to monetize their databases and what it's all about. You've got some big name stars and some uh, like Major League Baseball Players Association and things like that coming in because they can monetize those old old timers like us um, who still have a following, but you know not that much of an active following anymore. Nice, but they still nice. have a fan base. So when they so game, they get a commission. So, okay, so you, you know, want to look at uh, PLTR, right? Yeah, that's my baby now. I uh, pretty much put everything into that, but I'm into really as long out as I can. Well, pretty much a year to year, two year leaps. So but, let's uh, take a look at it. The lows yeah, nine forty two. That's uh, this week. The highs twenty nine. This company here. Okay, so they claim that they're growing, but their revenue is not growing. Okay, so. Well, they've been averaging about 30%, I think, so. Um, yeah, but their revenue has been, has been growing. Yeah, I'll come back to that in a second, but, uh, I mean, the, okay. the, the numbers. So, let me put this back a little bit more. I was just curious because they announced earnings uh, Monday morning before the open, and I'm just going to double check with you if they were in an ABC, you know, down or if it was just, yeah. you know, because of the market conditions trending down or, or you know, what your thoughts were on all that. Well, you that. got, you have, let's see, this is a small ABC down. You get 13. That's only three bucks. That gets to 7.98. Yeah, it's an ABC down to 7.98. Okay. You know, the problem with this, Gary, is that if you, you, you know, we're not holding the seven, I mean, this 974. Right. And it's like, okay, you're not holding that. Um, mm -hmm. You know, your next leg is, uh, well, I man, this, I'd be careful, man. You know. Okay. Because the, uh, the lows are 890, and it looks like the, it's going to blow those away, man. So. Okay, that's what I was. I, I wanted your expertise because I uh, I want to add more on those, some of those leaps, but I'm trying to hold back and see where that uh, you know uh, where how far low it goes. <laughs> yeah, I I would I would hold back a bit. Most times, okay, then if we're in what I think we're in, you know, most times what ends up happening is that you got to look at this market, folks, as four to five years. 
And what normally happens is this. If, we, if we're going where I think we're going, you're going to have two years, but we're, we already started it in November, last November. You get two years of going down, another year of going sideways, and then you go. So it's a long time. This is not, you know, this is not, I would go look at charts from 1999 to 2000. You know, I don't, th there's already enough destruction already that you won't see the same market that we've had for the last 16 years. You know. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Cooking, man. Okay. Well, Have a great one, man. Have a safe great, one. Great, uh, um, be well and enjoy that family. Thank, thank you. You too. Let's go take a look at the uh, Dow Industrials. Inside the Dow Industrials, um, what is the move is out here today. So what you have, you have uh, United Health is putting four, uh, 29 points in, Chevron 24, Amgen 15. Taken away from it, Home Depot, uh, minus 40. You get Nike minus 28. You got American Express minus uh, 26. Inside of the NDX 100, we take a look at the NDX 100. Um, you got, uh, what is that, Monster Beverage is up 4.6%. You got uh, Cognizant Technologies up 2%. Mercado Libre is up 1.1. Uh, Illumina, look at this, man. Unreal. Down 15%. You get CrowdStrike is off 10%. Uh, you have uh, Zscaler is off 9%. And Lululemon is off 8 Those are some monster numbers. Let's go to Illumina first and just look at this stock. 15% in one day, man. Okay, so what do we have here? Wow. Okay, so let's put this on a three-year. Yeah. You're going after the March lows, man. 252 is the high of the March lows. Of t I mean, when I say the March lows, tough folks, I'm talking 2020. Um, and the level there at the bottom is 196. So you're talking some heavy... Uh, <laughs> heavy deals on the on the way down here there's no there's no two ways about that that's that's about as intense as you can get let's go take a look at a couple of the big dogs because microsoft apple amazon microsoft right now it's laying at the bottom let's just see where the volume was is rather okay it's going to take more volume than that for to break those lows on microsoft last week we had a 216 million this week, 167. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, 
Trade LABU or LABD. Directions Daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call, call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial's down 86. You get the NASDAQ uh, down 166. S&Ps are off 22. You get a nice little bounce. Uh, it's pretty amazing, actually, how fast uh, the S&Ps can bounce in this uh, area. And, folks, if you didn't, haven't uh, got into our Tiger's Den yet on the Discord room, come over to our website at TFNN. Okay, it's a dollar for the year. Great amount of information in there. Um, it's really active, I can tell you. What's happened this week is that it's been active since 5 o'clock in the morning Eastern time. So uh, really good information in there. And for all the folks that are in there, I finally know how to answer the questions in there, too. So I, I apologize. I had seen all these other uh, lineup on the left-hand side, and I didn't realize they were, those were questions when I'm on the air. So uh, I do apologize, number one, but you can put those questions in there because now I'm cognizant of how those questions come in on the side, which is really cool. I mean, this piece of software, the cool thing about the software is not just that we can, you know, you can get the charts, you can talk to each other. It really, there's so many other things you can do. It's, it's wild, man. I mean, it's, it's pretty cool how they put it together. Let's go take a look at the indice volume out here uh, and see where we're going to be standing at the end of the day. So right now you're at 762. That's going to do, that'll do 1.1. And that's on the NYSE. We take a look at the composite. The composite is 4.5. That's going to be, that's going to, the composite is going to be heavier. Uh, that, that's how that works out. So if we go actually look at the end, the, I mean, the, the composite itself, we take this composite, we take a look at it. Whoops. There we go. I see. So this broke everything. Look at this. Put this in three years. Wow. So the composite, look at that. So the composite itself is on the way down to this 12,000 to 10,000 area. That's going to be pretty intense, man. Yeah. Because that, that's laying out. You, you can see that, you know, we're, we're off highs of 16,000. So you're 4,000 points down, man. So you're 25% down already. But there's just nothing out here, you know, the first, well, we're close. We're close to the first, you know, that it should hold here. Let me put this like this. This is, if you take a look at this, you know, this is a weekly, and you're going to see this area here, folks, okay, the, the low of that area is 10,900. The top of it is 13,074. Now you can see we're already 1,000 points into it. So when you're 1,000 points into it, the bottom line is that your probability goes much higher that you're going to be at the bottom of it. Now the bottom of that is 10,519. And I can tell you that if you're looking for this market to go up, you want to go down there right now. The, because if we don't go down there right now and we start building cars again, it, the market itself generates more energy, and when, what I've found is this, is that when you build cars before, a, let's say, a, re, uh, a support area, if you build cars before the support area and you're coming down, it's a problem. Because what does that end up happening? Let's say you go sideways four or five weeks. 
What happens there is that it's built up that energy and it blows right by it. If you come down to those areas and we've already, they're like we've already come down, that is when the full exhaustion takes place, meaning that all the selling is done flat out. And, and what we're going to see, this is what also ends up happening in a market like this, is that you're going to see the aspect that no matter how much someone's down, they just stop looking at the market. You know, I, my take is that we're not there yet. Um, we're, get, we're getting closer. <laughs> uh, but as I said at the beginning of the show, this is going to be a long, strung out deal that is not over like we've had these other retracements. And um, yeah, and I don't even like being the bearer of that news, even, you know, but I've done so many mental calisthenics, folks, <laughs> not just on a technical basis, okay, because I've been around long enough on the fundamental basis to really, you know, understand, okay, what are we all paying for? Okay, so because the, the, the bottom line is that, you know, I love technically trading. And the reason I do is you can look at a lot more very quick, much quicker. Okay, that's the real bottom line. Um, that being said, I'm always looking at those fundamentals because the bottom line, that the end result is that that's what drives markets. So when I look at some of these equities, it's like, oh, really? You're still going to pay $68 or $70 for $1 worth of earnings? Like, why? Okay, you know, <laughs> that, that is, you know, you should be down there paying $20 for something that's growing right now. But, you know, we'll see where it shakes out. Let's go to Amazon, the big uh, king dog out here. See where Amazon's shaking out here? They got Amazon right now. That's at 2300 We put this back. Put this on a monthly. Okay, so it's dug into the 24. Look at this, man. Unreal. Yeah, this is going back to the, this is going back to the last time it had volume, man. So right there, it already broke 24. 24.75, man. So, I mean, for all you folks that think you might want to buy Amazon, you've heard me say this so many times. Amazon is always so hard to buy on a pullback, it's unbelievable. I mean, it always looks like it's going to be the end of the world. And it looks to me like this can get to 1889. It will probably be the end of the world, or we'll think it's the end of the world. I'm only kidding, of course, okay? There's no such thing as the end of the world, by folks. But when you get to this 1889, um, you know, that's where it broke out from. So let me do this. And the cool thing is, now, now see, watch this, folks. This is... now. For all you bulls out here, this is something that you really want to wrap your head around, right? Okay, we're on a downtrend and a vicious one, right? That being said, Amazon has two high volume highs, man. 37.75, high volume high. Test, 37.62, almost a high volume high. That's a good indication, man. That's a good indication that, you know, back to the breakout area, you know, I always like equities like that. Now, what I've found is this. This is, this is the, the problem that you encounter, is that when you get the rejection of lower price and you can pull back to the breakout area, it doesn't mean that you're going right back to the high volume high at that particular point. What does happen is that as soon as you actually have a good trend going, it's like now you have a price projection to aim for. And in Amazon's case, I mean, that thing's going to be, you know, that's $3,900 more than, I mean, $1,900 more than where uh, it very well could be. Let's go over to the S&P. So the S&Ps are making a run here. They're only down nine bucks. Um, 4133. Okay, so you want to see this thing over 4148. That was the last high. And the last bar, last two bars were pretty good, man. We'll see whether they can do it. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial's down 97. You get the Nasdaq off 158. S&Ps are off 22. We get a question is, uh, has the residential real estate in the uh, Tampa Bay market started to slow? So the bottom line is that it hasn't. That being said, my take is that it's not going to be immune, not even close, okay? Um, I've been consolidating in a, in a monster way. Um, yeah, because my take is that we're taking a hit. Um, and, and one of the, it's really cool. So what ends up happening, folks, is this. And this is what's cool. Just remember this. When, when you're in the marketplace, and then, you know, I happen to be in two markets. I'm in this market, I'm in the real estate market. So what ends up happening is that even in the real estate market, I make sure every time that I'm buying or selling something, I'm actually talking to those people because I want to see the type of buyers and or sellers, okay? And I can tell you, and you've heard this before, even this, this started, you know, I've been, I've been selling into this for over seven or eight months, okay, in a monster way. And what I've found, okay, is that the buyers are weak, man. I, I get buyers that, you know, they're getting up with a partner, they're doing this, they're doing that, and it's like, oh, man, this is, that is not the buyer, you know, and that's what normally happens in markets. And I mentioned to you before, what Bestford had done is this, okay, um, Bestford, when we were accumulating real estate, this goes all the way back to 2007, 2008, is that we did a spreadsheet. And what the spreadsheet we did is this. So picture this. You hear in the press that, oh, there's less houses, there's less houses, and that's why they're going up. The, the, the bottom line is that in the crash of 2007, 2008, now that's a different deal. I don't expect that, but I expect a 15, 20% hit. Well, what, what had happened is that on the spreadsheet is that as the sales, you know, were basically... As the prices were going up, the sales were going down. Well, we have the exact same situation, man. That's what's going on. And so check this out. This is this happens to now. This is this market here from 
let's see, this goes all the way, our market goes all the way to Orlando. So you got Tampa, St. Pete, Clearwater, Orlando, right? So what we also do every day is check the new listings, right? Bottom line, wanna hear this, folks? Listen to this, man, okay? The new listings that are normally coming out and we've always been under, okay, is like 1,000 to 1,100. Well, guess what? This is per day. Two days ago, 1,500. Y'all gonna see huge amounts of, because people think they're gonna, well, they will miss the market if they don't push it out. So, always remember, folks, the bank can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great weekend. Oh, happy Mother's Day to everyone. Happy Mother's Day. Take care of your mother. Have a great one. Have a safe one, folks.